Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and these are exam questions on inequalities from Edexcel IGCC past papers. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, question one says solve uh, this inequality. Now we're just going to treat it like a equation. So we're going to subtract 13 from both sides. This will give me 4x. These two will cancel. Greater than or equal to 14. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 4. And this will give me x is greater than or equal to 7 over 2. Great, so that's my answer. x is greater than or equal to 7 over 2. We'll represent this on a number line. So the number which we have here is minus 1, so we draw a circle at minus 1. Because it's greater than or equal to, it means I have to fill this circle in. And because it's greater than, it means I'm going to the right of that circle. Next, this question asks me to write down the values of n which satisfy this inequality. Well, we'll start with minus 3, but we can't have minus 3 because it doesn't equal minus 3. So we go to the next number, which is minus 2, then minus 1, then 0, then 1, and then 2, because it does, it can equal Two, so we have to include it. Okay, next question here. We've got this inequality shown on the number line. And the numbers where the circles are are minus 1 and 4. And because our line is in between these two, we write minus 1 less than, uh, not n, because actually this variable is x, less than 4. Now, it can actually equal 4 because this dot is filled in. So I have to put an equal sign next to the 4, just like that. Okay, next we're asked to solve an inequality. So the first step would be to multiply out the brackets to give me 2y minus 6 is greater than 1. I will then add 6 to both sides, and I'll divide through by 2, and I get that y is greater than 7 over 2. And it says, what's the lowest whole number which satisfies this inequality? Well, we know that y has to be greater than 7 over 2, which is the same as y being greater than 3.5. So the next number up after 3.5, that's a whole number, will be 4. And that will be the lowest possible integer. So the answer is 4. Okay, here we have another inequality where I'm just going to solve this like an equation. I'm going to add 4 to both sides, and I'm going to divide through by 5. Here we go, next question. We've got an inequality, and we've got to write it down. So again, the circle here is at minus 3, so that's the number I'm going to use. Uh, the variable is x. All of the numbers are to the right, so are greater than minus 3, and it can't equal minus 3. Top tip, some people think because it can't equal minus 3, they will start at minus 2, but then you'll be missing out all of these decimal numbers that are in between, so they have to be included. So that's why we always start with the number where the circle is. And now solving this equation, it's important to move the smallest y value. Now in this case, the smallest y value is 1y. So I'm going to subtract 1y from both sides, which gives me 3y minus 18 is less than or equal to 8. I'm going to add 13 to both sides, which is going to give me 21. So y is less than or equal to 7. Okay, I'm going to show you a classic mistake here, and that would be to subtract 4y from both sides. And that will give you minus 3y over here. And then I can subtract 8 from both sides. It is less than or equal to minus 3. And then they would divide through by minus 3, and they would get 7 is less than or equal to y, which is different from our correct answer over here. The reason why is that if you are to times or divide 
by a negative, we have to swap the sign over. So you could use this method, but you'd have to swap the sign over. So you would swap it over like this. And now these two are equivalent. So the easiest way to do it is to avoid times you're dividing by a negative. And then you won't need to, uh, that mistake won't happen. Okay, here's another equation, sorry, inequality, where you've got x's on both sides. I'm going to try and avoid that mistake by subtracting the smallest x first. So let's subtract uh, 3x from both sides. That will give me 15 is less than 5x plus 3. Minus 3 from both sides gives me this. And then divide both sides by 5. And I get this which is absolutely fine. You can leave that as your answer, but you might want to swap it around like that. It just looks a little bit neater when the X is on the right, on the left, sorry. And in that case, you would make sure that the sign is still pointing in the same direction. It's pointing towards the 12 over five. Okay, final question is slightly trickier, I guess. Um, in order to solve this, you need to add one to all three sides. This will give you 8 less than 4x less than or equal to 18. And then you need to divide all three sides by 4, which will give you 2 is less than x is less than 18 over 4 is the same as 9 over 2, which is 4.5. And that's it, we're done. That's inequalities finished. A uh, short video this time, but the questions are really quite the same. Not too much difficulty there. So move on to the next topic.